have not actually visited Chicago. Have you ever okay. been? I have. But no, I'm you haven't. Though you've had Malort, you've never actually been to Chicago. Okay. So this is your chance. Okay. <laughs> Oi. And here's the chaser. What is that? It's called Malort. Welcome to Chicago. I know who you are, but tell everybody else who you are. Hi, everybody. My name is Scott Shapiro, CEO of Europa State and uh, Board of Directors. I'm the chairman of the board for the Vision Council. He makes some really rad frames. That's that's Thank you. Darn sure. Our frames are awesome. I, I appreciate <laughs> you saying that. I feel that way, too. Okay, so I, I'm asking everybody this question. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. What is one thing that absolutely drives you crazy and kind of like makes you want to sprinkle some people in our industry? Okay, so... <laughs> This is a really dangerous question, right? Like, nobody's going to see this, right? Uh, um, I can't okay. promise that. So, uh, all right. So I'll, I'll try to say this as delicately as I can. And I'm, and I'm going to speak sort of on behalf of the Vision Council okay. a, a, as chairman of the board of directors. Okay. Um, people complaining about Vision Expo. <laughs> So I hear a lot of people complaining about Vision Expo. And in fairness, as an exhibitor and somebody who wasn't always on the board of directors, I also maybe at times was a complainer. Was a complainer. I was somebody okay. who wanted okay. to strangle myself. But now you have a different a different approach. I do. And I think, look, I understand. <laughs> Again, as an exhibitor, I get you know sometimes people's complaints. But um, what I think they sometimes forget and what I want to sometimes, what I always try to tell people is that as an exhibitor, your investment in Vision Expo 50% of your cost, which is a very high cost, admittedly, yeah. but 50% of your cost goes back to the Vision Council, back to your industry. Oh, I did not know that. That's right. Most people don't know that. I did not know That's that. That's exactly. <laughs> Vision Council is the co-owner of Vision Expo. Okay. So every dollar you spend on your booth, or at least your booth space, comes back to our, uh, our organization, our industry, to help us with um, promotion on Capitol Hill. Uh, okay. on uh, advertising, education, all the things that help all of us together, that help make this a community. Right. Not only does Vision Expo, in my opinion, do a great job of bringing us all together, like yes. we're doing today. This is why everyone comes to, to hang out with right. all of us. I mean, we wouldn't be doing this right now <laughs> if not for Vision Expo. We yes, would have exactly. to do this over... Over, over a Zoom over, call, over, which would be cool. so lame. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to me, like, bringing everybody together is quite a purpose. Yes. And so, anyway. Wow. Yes. I really got on my soapbox there. <laughs> Oh, Can you believe it? Ask. It's a volunteer position. They don't even pay me. Oh, but you're passionate, and that's why we asked the question. I am. So I understand the complaints. I don't actually want to choke anybody. I would never. <laughs> but I do want to tell them, yo, your money's going to a good place, yeah. and it's helping all of us. Yes. Yeah. My follow-up, and, and you had a great thing with that, is like, what are you doing to change that awareness? Other than being yeah, mostly yelling at people, <laughs> <laughs> which is way better than choking them. <laughs> But again, you know, I, I, so I, I, you know, I see it from both perspectives because um, obviously, you know, budgets are are tight sometimes, yeah. and the, and the cost of uh, being a part of Vision Expo can be very expensive. So I understand that. But uh, uh, again, I'll put my Europa hat back on and I'll say, as an exhibitor at Europa, we're very, very proud of the the uh, the position we have here at the Vision Expo. Uh, we really try to do it up, right? So yeah. it's, it's it can be tempting to just sort of like show up. And just uh, and just like you know network, but we really try to make an investment because we feel like this is an investment in our community. And me, as somebody who grew up in this business, mm -hmm. it's much more than just a business. It's absolutely it's is. a community, yeah. and so uh, we want to be good members of our community. Yeah, I can tell you from the doctor perspective, this stuff like this and the things that you do really pay off. And I can tell you that from the the frame turn ex perspective that uh, your guys' product moves. So well, we appreciate you. that too. You should have the camera, don't tell me. <laughs> you guys can <laughs> well, your booth is always jamming. Look at this it place, man. Yeah, yeah, we're very fortunate. It was without oh, the bar and it is with the bar. Can well, you tell it, us the bar? It's about. much more with the bar. I, <laughs> what is this, the drink of Chicago? Oh, what yes. You've you not had it yet. No. <laughs> but I don't know if you could tell I've had seven or eight. Uh, so the, so uh, in, at our booth every single year, we offer a very special drink. It's called Malort. And it is only available in Chicago. Luckily, we smuggled it into uh, New York. I don't even know where we are. Well, we're still in Chicago right here. Yeah, that's right. It's this like booth is Chicago. technically Chicago. Yeah. It's like the embassy. I stepped right in. Yeah, the Chicago embassy. Once you come in here, you're in Chicago. But you have not actually visited Chicago. Have you ever okay. been? I have. But no, I've you haven't. Been. <laughs> until you've actually, <laughs> until you've had Malort, you've never actually been to Chicago. Okay. So this is your chance. Okay. I let's highly do it. recommend it. Okay, let's do it. We're going right. to do it right now. You're going to yeah, go get on it the Come on, let's go. Let's go. So what does this taste like? Oh, uh, I'm so glad you asked. 
So <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> oh, okay. This is going to be great. <laughs> uh, yeah, nobody likes it. So uh, you can maybe start by sniffing it and give you a little idea. It's like okay. if you took Windex and then put just a drop <laughs> of grapefruit juice in it. Okay. All right, and we just shoot it, huh? To our community. <laughs> Oi. And here's a beer chaser. What is that? <laughs> it's called Malort. Welcome to Chicago. Okay, so now it counts. Uh, you're in. Chicago. You've no, been I'm there. there. Yeah. Now I've been to Chicago. <laughs>